What's up guys, it's your boy WMW3 Game Present today's video guys. What we will be talking about is H2O Wireless worth it. So in today's video I'll go through all the plans, features, all the other jazz and what I currently used to have and why I went to H2O and all that other jazz. So let's go right into our first topic is the SIM card. So if you have an iPhone, this is the SIM card you're trying to get. So this is the SIM card that will fit on this type of phone or any microphone and this is the wrong sim card so always look for two three in one sim card not the two in one one so let's leave that to the side so let's look at this so this thing cost around roughly around 10 bucks depending on where you go and get it so it's pretty much it, it there's there's a activation thing at the back and all the other stuff that you need to do to get h2o so let's get right into what is an h2o networks as you can see right here okay that's my camera okay as you can see right here i do have h2o and this is spare phone i'm using it on it's not that my primary phone so let's get right into why what you need to know about h2o so it shows basically a network that runs on a t i mean at&t network and that's pretty much it that gives you affordable plans than team i mean at&t i don't know why i'm saying t-mobile but i'm gonna go through all the topics like i have in here so once you get it once you set up if you want to transfer your number i'm gonna give a rating on the customer service of transferring it it was painful for me to transfer this number from at&t to see if it was any good what i found out the customer service had didn't do a good job of transferring number. That was a headache, guys. Customer service with H2O isn't that good at all. So let's get into H2O's plan. So the current plan I have with H2O is eight gigabytes of unlimited talk and text. So they don't have a family plan like AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon do. This is basically eight gigs on every single line for 40 bucks. If you have four lines, you can get a promotion for 30 bucks. So not bad at all and 8 gigs that should be plenty of data for 40 bucks so my AT&T plan so why did I want to try H2O basically my AT&T plan I will pay roughly around $290 and what everybody wants to think is if you can get the same service same network for less less than what you're paying who doesn't want to give it a shot so this that's what i'm trying it out if i don't like it i could still go back to my at t plan so i'm gonna i've been trying this out for three weeks now to see if this thing is any any good or should i just stick with at t and that's some surprising results and yeah this thing isn't the worst network and wise i've seen worse so it sure hasn't been disappointing me that much as well so let's get right into some of the other HO plans that they have to offer. And for AT&T, the only reason I'm trying this out because their plans were way too expensive. So it's like 100 bucks. If you want unlimited, it's 180. But if you want four for mine, so it's 110 bucks around that. So for eight gigs data each, so you don't share that eight gigs data with your family. It's individual lines only. So. What some what are some HO plans? There's some 12 gigabytes plan. If you need bigger data, there's more bigger data for more money. But if you're like a normal average user, this thing should be able to get your job done as well. So yeah, this thing should easily get your job job done very very easily. And network quality. So if you guys want like so the surprising thing I found out about this is you have to install an APN to get an LTE network. I was just assuming you pop in the sim then you get the 4G LTE. No, but you have to install LTE APN if you're looking to get the 4G LTE speeds. I don't know what to, I think this is like for you to get 4G LTE data basically. So network quality. It's if you have an AT&T service right now this shouldn't be that much of a different if you have it it's it's running off their tower so the network is pretty good it should work up every anywhere you go so i mean this isn't that bad at all if you're used to at&t network um networks um network this should be fairly fairly fine at all and this is the cheap alternative to going at&t basically so let's get right into my speed test so as you can, i'm gonna get off the wi-fi and i'll 
do a speed test to show you guys and I'll show you my previous speed test as well but I yeah I'll show you my previous speed test so there we go let's do a speed test on the Ichiro network and also I would do a speed test on my AT&T phone I don't have an extra I mean I don't have an AT&T phone in my house basically because I switched to this to see if this one was any better so as you can see I'm on the 4G LTE network and that's what I'm roughly getting my download up it's not bad as you can see it says it's hosted by AT&T right down there if I have more signal which I don't I'll just leave it right here as you can see my upload so it's not bad at all I mean if you if you can watch videos with this much and also yeah you do if you run out of data you get 2g throttle data so I mean I don't know what you can do with 2g throttle data but it is what it is so I'm gonna show you some of my results so this the 33 I got I did it in yesterday in my school as you can see right here it was not bad at all it's gonna say AT&T since you guys know it's running on the AT&T network so it's gonna say AT&T as well here's some of the AT&T results when I didn't have used to have AT&T as you can see right there this was the actual AT&T not H2O that's what some of the speeds I was getting with them and this is what I got from them as well like I just showed you guys so my results outside my house has been consistent so network quality wise not bad at all it gets the job done so yeah network quality was very very fine since I do have three bar again let's do a test again to get a consistent speed and also because it's connecting me to Kansas City that's why you see a high ping here yeah so this thing isn't that bad at all so yeah, uh, so I'm gonna go to my final verdict of this thing. If you're looking for cheap, affordable, good service, I mean, this is pretty good service for the money. Go with it, so you can't go wrong with it. If you're looking, yeah, so my thing, I probably will be staying with this carrier because it hasn't done anything that I don't like, basically. Or like it hasn't been struggling to perform, basically. It has done what it's promised, so. I'm probably gonna stick with stick it out. I mean, if I can get the same network re reliability as AT&T and get um this for fairly less money than what I'm paying, I think I I'll go with H2O guys. I mean, there yeah uh, that's pretty that's gonna be my final verdict. If you're looking for something affordable and don't want to be in the big network carrier, go with H2O. Pretty decent phone for the money, and that's pretty much it. Network quality is just about fine as. TNT and the data speed is fluctuating like that's where you kind of have to give up on that super speed but this thing can get you get the, the job done pretty easily so that's it for this video guys if you guys did enjoy this video please remember to smack that like button helps your boy out tremendously but that's my review on the h2o plan and yeah you could get this what i have for roughly on 40 bucks so yeah guys peace